Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to AQYT Solutions and this is Ali Raza today I'm going to demonstrate you a brand new software that is restaurant management system and the complete demo will be demonstrated in this particular lecture so let's start and have a look what we have today in the restaurant management system demo this is the login screen and you can see I have entered a username and password and then click login the interface is same as we have in the previous uh, softwares that I have demonstrated in front of you people here this software is intended for a restaurant where you can manage the orders and uh, the orders that are of dine-in or takeaway or, or, or you, are, you can say home delivery okay so this restaurant management system is for multiple users that means uh, the chefs the cash counter and some other roles are also uh, be able to work on this single software okay uh, let me start from the roles window the categories of the people who can be able to work on this software you have to add here first so I have administrators I have chefs I have managers I have waiters and all that okay after adding the roles we have to go and add the users so who, the people who can be able to use the software so I have added here two people with the with the role Ali Raza and administrator is the role and the username Hamad with the uh, role chef now uh, after adding the users in order to operate the software you have to go on the customers but it is not mandatory to add customer here in this software okay if the customer is of takeaway or if the customer is of home delivery then you can uh, add the customer details otherwise it is not required now uh, you have to add the categories of the food or you you can say you have to design your menu here or you have to add your menu card here what categories do you deal with so you have to add the categories let me zoom in and you can see I have added some categories here and you can add your categories of your choice after adding the categories you have the menu window where you can create your menu and here you can add your menu items and you can see the menu items along with the images you can see if I zoom in here the images can be uh, displayed in a large view at this particular area so I have added a Pepsi 250 ml and a chicken steak and a biryani that is the favorite dish of Pakistan and you can uh, you can be able to add any item of your choice according to your menu here and when you click you can see the pricing of that particular menu and the status of that particular menu and you can upload the image as well so I hope you have understood uh, how can you create a menu inside this software after adding your menu now it's time to uh, add some other stuff that are floors and tables this soft restaurant management system is very unique in terms of its uh, environment because let's say if you have a multiple story restaurant uh, on first floor on second floor on ground floor so you can be able to manage uh, the floors and the tables and this software will let you know that how many floors uh, are there and what which tables are busy with orders which tables are free with orders uh, how many number of people require uh, people required uh, or how many uh, uh, pe persons are there we should uh, we ask the people the waiter ask the people that for how much persons you need the table or and so on so this all thing is managed on this software so let us go on the floors and you can see I have added here floors of the restaurant and then I have added here tables that the which table belongs to which floor it will help us to identify which table is busy and which table is free I hope it is clear to everyone now we have the orders window the, the main window we have the actual window here let's say someone came to me and asked me to please provide a chicken steak the price will automatically pop up here and then uh, you have to add the quantity whatever the customer will said will say to you and then uh, which is the type of the order so if you click on the dine-in if I zoom it here if you click on the dine-in then you can see the floor and the table combo boxes or drop-down list are appeared and if you select the takeaway then you can see these boxes are disabled because for takeaway you don't need floors and tables and you only select your phone number uh, enter your phone number okay so if the page if the customer exists already then the details of that customer will be fetched out from the database otherwise the customer details you have to add uh, accordingly okay so let me add an order uh, for dine-in and you can see the floors and then the tables if the table is busy then that table number will not be selected okay let's say you have already placed a table uh, order uh, on table number one for the current time being then that table will not be selected again I hope you have understood this now let us add that particular item inside the grid so you can see now I have added a chicken steak here and now let me select a biryani 
and then uh, the quantity is one let's say and the order type is same and then click add to cart so you can see the total amount is appearing at the bottom and uh, the quantities are also there if you wish to remove some item you can remove from here as well and now it's time to save you can see the order is placed successfully now this order is directly displayed on the chef screen when the chef is dis uh, uh, so that the chef can start preparing the order so i have logged out and now i am logging with the chef when the chef opens its screen you can see the order window is appeared in front of him and now you can see there are two orders appearing by default let's say this is the order that i have just given and this is the order so the order that will come first resides at the top and then you can th then the the chef or the personnel at that particular point at the kitchen see that order prepare that order and once finalize that order the chef is then uh, click on the order and then it will ask the software will ask you that are you sure you want to finish this order yes i wanted to finish this order so order status updated now uh, the order is uh, ready to deliver to the customer that is sitting on the table and likewise i have another table order that is this one so um, let me click here and look it is asking me are you sure you want to finish this no i don't want to finish this right now but let me go and show you the other thing that i wanted to demonstrate here that uh, if i go and see another order let's say i wanted to buy a chicken steak with id uh, quantity 1 dine in and with a select floor and table number 1 you can see table number 1 is now not selecting because the order is still in the uh, in progress or in process so you cannot select table number 1 i hope it is clear to everyone now let's go further and open the chef screen and then finalize that order that we have just given okay so orders and then this order is also completed from the chef part and then click okay and then let's go back and log in from the admin so these are the two screens that are working that are uh, running simultaneously on two different pcs uh, in your restaurant so this is a whole um, version of this i am demonstrating here in this demo now after that you have the text management also and the bill generation let me first show you the bill management uh, bill generation window in this bill generation window you can see the text type is coming let's say if you have texts so inclusive and exclusive this is also coming from the database i will let you know after this window now the order was dine in the floor number 1 let's say the waiter came to you and it, and the waiter said to you uh, that uh, please generate the bill for uh, floor 1 table 1 so you can see when the order is completely finished you can see the bill is appearing here 1050 and now the amount paid let's say the um, uh, customer has paid 1100 rupees so you can see the amount to refund is generated automatically and when you click the generate bill button it is saying that order completed successfully and then the order is displayed or the bill is printed with the help of the report that will just uh, start on uh, in a while in front of you okay so my report is generated and you can see the order along with the items that are that we have here don't worry about the report i will uh, correct it uh, this is the demo uh, dummy data no uh, issues about that but the purpose of this uh, report representation is uh, to to demonstrate you that the report is uh, uh, printing so we will correct that no problem this is the dummy data ignore that now uh, this is the order generation and then you have the text management window and you can see here uh, i have added text and the percentage of the text that should be deducted and that sh should not be deducted inclusive exclusive and whatever text you wanted to add you can and then the last window we have here is the order win modification window let's say if someone uh, adds some other item uh, to the uh, order then he or she can be able to add here so order ids right like now i have this one order and then uh, the work on this window is uh, under progress so hopefully you have understood that uh, this is a complete uh, software uh, for restaurant management uh, and it for more modules and more details can also be added more reports can also be generated in this uh, restaurant management system so hopefully you have uh, understood and like this uh, software uh, further work can be done upon request no issues so thank you so much take care allah hafiz